shows it shows from the other side. It shows the guy's feet dangling off of the ground and kicking around wildly as he's being held up by his face. All right. You hear from the other side of the door. He hasn't said he was letting go yet, so I'm just assuming he's like, no, I'm done. <laughs> Waiting on you, Alex. So what we do? <laughs> he still got the guy <laughs> through the door going, sorry, what? Were you talking to me? What? Oh, uh, wait, uh, drop it. Ah, you're <laughs> <laughs> Right. So back downstairs? Yes. Right. Uh, it shows uh, the guy think... laying there crying, wondering what he did wrong <laughs> to get uh, Darth much... Vader. Archway to swimming pool, I believe, is the first bit. Yep, there are several other uh, from the ground floor. You can go into the swimming pool and other places. We'll go through the swimming pool thing. Uh, the swimming pool, either fall in or walk in. Fortunately for you guys, you're walking in. It is. It, it just stinks in here. You're thinking if you got any of that shit on your clothes, then you'd have to fucking burn your clothes. From here, you can either go on into what looks like some more staff room stuff, or you can go down into the basement. The basement. Dun, 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 dun. Well, do we want to clear this floor first before heading downstairs? No, you want to charge into it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming there was no letters on the wall in the swimming pool room? Correct. Attention. Trading food is not acceptable. Diet is an important part of therapy. See Nurse Ratchet if you want more peas. Give peas a chance. Peas are good. I like my peas. I don't. Another kind of peas. So uh, you're going through to the next room, which is the... Uh, Staff cafeteria, I think, wasn't it? Well, uh, if you go through the swimming pool, then it leads to another thing. You could backtrack to the staff cafeteria or you can continue on through the swimming pool. And we'll go through the swimming pool to the other room first, Muzzle. All right. No problem. Unfortunately, that turns out to be the good choice because it dead ends after this room going that direction, which is the staff. Hold on, where'd it go? Ah, there it is. It's near the I Feel Pretty room. What a great name for a room. Uh, it looks like uh, uh, rooms for the staff to sleep. The beds don't appear to have ever been occupied, nor are there any personal possessions there. There's various makeshift stuff you could get, but I'm not sure how useful it would be. Blankets instead. I mean, if you wanted to all wear togas and shit, that's, you know. Toga, toga. <laughs> and then it does the freeze frame, and it has the guy who uh, narrates all these movies, and it's like, you had no idea how prophetic that would be. <laughs> and then it unfreezes. <laughs> so, uh, right, backtracking over to the cafeteria, which also has no layers. It looks like there's no food, just very orderly seats. There are salt and pepper shakers that have salt and pepper in them, napkins, cheap silverware, no windows. Going through that, you guys encounter a interesting room that I have a picture for. There it is. Uh, bottom, <laughs> bottom, uh, uh, next to the guy in the bite mask. Looks like a kitchen. Lots of useful makeshift weapons. No food, no windows, no letters. No 
All right. Have we seen any clocks on walls or anything, especially in the staff areas? Negative. Uh, backtrack and go to the next place. Mm -hmm. You guys have already done head doctor's office, so then you go over to... Hold on, I didn't and that we did the here. pharmacy as well, which was off. A, which is past the doctor's office, but uh, going a different direction, uh, near the nurse's hat thing, uh, it looks like the initial examination room. Uh, going through that, which doesn't have anything really super useful, it is the reception room, which interestingly does have letters that have been gouged into the wall with something. The letters are Echo, Echo, November, Papa, Romeo, Sierra, Tango. Oh, sorry, it was Sierra. Again, it's Echo, Echo, November, Papa, Romeo, Sierra, Tango. And you at home can be doing this too. They'll make you happy. What room is this in, sir? Reception room. The only other thing is that uh, past the reception room is an entrance, which has been bricked up. See also the same picture of where you came in. So it looks exactly the same, but it's uh, one on a different floor. All right, so was there any other rooms on the ground floor past that, past the exam room? I think you've covered everything on the ground floor. There, uh, there's nothing guess, else. Hmm? It's, I guess it's the basement then. The basement, the root of all evil everywhere. Down is good. <laughs> That's right, Nick. So you guys head back to the swimming pool and then go to the stairs down the basement. The basement stairs themselves are creepy as fuck. Here is a picture of them. They're the kind that you can go round and round in a big square. Ah, and here's a picture of them. And if you wanted to, uh, they're next to the lady with the cigar, if you're looking for the picture, or next to the I Feel Pretty room. Right? If you want to like speed it up and just jump into the center of them, then you go down really quick, like the Born Identity thing. Not recommended. But I'm not here to stop you from fulfilling your dreams. So uh, you guys head down the stairs. Uh, they creak and stuff like that, but honestly, it feels pretty fucking sturdy. Uh, from there, it goes into a hallway that has exposed pipes that drip water and release steam. Of course. <laughs> yes, and it does have some letters. Letters are Alpha, Echo. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, you can just have Pete put in the <laughs> message, Dave. Just have Pete write in the message. Alpha, Echo, uh, Golf. India, November, Romeo. Again, Alpha, Echo, Golf, India, November, Romeo. Past that, it either goes into a storage room or a hallway. Your choice. You can either go through into the storage room or down a hallway. Which would you like to go? Or would you like to grab one of the pipes and see what happens? It just shows like steam coming off of the water as it drips out. Feels really hot in this hallway too. I'm sure the pipes are fine. Grab the pipe. 
<laughs> I want to impale someone with it and be all, let off some Steve Bennett. Just take your card. Take your card. That's, that's great. <laughs> oh, shit. I haven't seen that in a while. I got to watch mm -hmm. that again. So, which is it, gentlemen? Storage or hall? Well, we might as well check the storage since we're right here. Yeah. No problem. Yep. The storage room, it's got a lot of uh, old junk, and there's also luggage. Uh, lots and lots of luggage. And it's kind of creepy as shit because just imagine like a whole bunch of different people dropped off their luggage there. And worse yet, Matt did his ghost impression. But uh, no, it's a. Uh, just lots of different luggage and suitcases and stuff like that in here. Also, there are some letters. <clears throat> echo, Echo, Kilo, Sierra, Sierra. Do the luggage have labels on them? Yes. You're adding which patient they're for? Uh, yes. Many, most of them are what we call completely unimportant. Uh, you do you do find some uh, or one of them that is uh, a language role as it's not written in English. So it'd be a learn role. Yeah, I got that shit. Fuck you. So, Fuck so did you. I. So did I. Fuck both of you. <laughs> what language is it? Uh, hold on. Checking so it is, out. It, is, is it Estonian again or something else? No, 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 no. Hold on. Give me just a second here. Um, ah. No, it's Ute. U T E. Ah, interesting. Cards as in for the first. As in Indians? Yes, as in take your card, Indians. Pete. Take your card for being overly educated. I yes, was, you didn't even realize it was a written language. Uh, I don't know if there is either. It may have been written in uh, English characters, and then you have to pronounce them, and they come okay, up with yeah, that yeah, or something. Yeah. I don't know. But that one does strike you as interesting. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm getting huh? Go on. I was going to say, I'm going to guess you're popping open the old trunk yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. rifling it. Uh, there's, there's some letters, and there's also some sort of strange, uh, uh, like, uh, pottery thing that I'll show you a picture of in a second here. But uh, there's letters that, uh, in English uh, also, uh, that uh, indicate that the woman belonged to a tribe known as the People of Sun Mountain. One of the letters urged her to keep the triangle, which I'll show you a picture of, safe. Keep it, it's, it's keep it secret, keep it safe. As it's being sought for by evil, for evil, by evil, but no details were given. And... Yeah. So, uh, right, the triangle. Uh, the picture of the weird dude in the pink thing under him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Almost well, looks like a harp or something. Like the um, old-fashioned harp thing in the middle. Mm. Except for the little person there, of course. Mm -hmm. oh, P was nice and typed the... Uh... Oh. <laughs> And more letters are 
<laughs> I love I love how it figures out by quarter for you, Pete. That is just great. Um, pretty much the only thing I've seen that needs to be added is is the uh, uh, sanity to say fail or success. Right. Other than yeah, that, everything's yeah. great. Sorry, sorry for the recap. Yeah. But While you recap him, I'm going to grab some drink. <coughs> so the last thing was reception room. I had the uh, E E N P R S T one. What was the one after that? So we went downstairs to the basement. Basement. There was a hallway with the pipes. And in there, I've written it in chat, basically, the A-E-G-I-N-R. Cool. <coughs> 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 uh, ah, damn, then, stop it. And then right. from there, we went to, you got that? Yeah. Then we went to a storage room off the hallway, and which has got lots of suitcases. An old junk in it, and there was the E E K S S. Right. Um, the storage room was off the um, hallway with the, the pipes. In, in upstairs or in the basement? No, the basement. We're in the basement at the moment. Oh, right, storage room. Um, the there's uh, one of the suitcase. We had we checked the labels on the suitcase. The one which looked of interest had a label in Ute language, as in U T E. Okay. And um, there was letters in there referring to a woman being from the people of the Sun Mountain. And right. it tells her to keep the triangle secret and keep it safe as it's being sought by evil for evil. And the picture of the triangle is on the board below the guy in the, the guy that was with the pigeon next to him in the pink pink. Gotcha. Yeah. Triangle's about this big. Okay. What's the other picture with all the horrific looking shit? Oh, that was from a, another room that an orderly was trying to rub out. Okay. Don't know if it's relevant or anything, but yeah. Cool. What do you guys want to do? Was there any other suitcases or luggage of interest besides that one? No, that seems to be the main deal. The rest is just clothes and shit. So, However, sorry. Matt. Yes. Matthew. Yeah. Give me a luck roll at negative 30 to find something <laughs> horrifying that goes with your face makeup in one of these fucking suitcases. No? no? Okay, great. No clan suit? Just wanted to see. Um, so was the, the triangle, was it drawn on the notes? Or was no, it no, the it, triangle it, in the luggage? It's in the luggage. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, we'll take that then. Who wants it? Doc, did you want to... Squeeze it. Sure. When you pick it up, it sparkles a bit. And give me a feel roll. Yeah, feel skill. Yeah. 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 Got it. You can feel, feel a very faint tug in some direction that you're not able to go right now. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah. And give me an analyze magic. Yeah. Got about half. So, we're thinking that when you picked it up, it is now active, and whoever, if somebody has, like, uh, you think that there's like, this is half of the deal and you're thinking that somebody else may have the other half of the deal. You're pretty sure they do. And now they get a faint tug from you. So you're thinking that your asshole is just puckered a little bit more. All right. I so share this information with everybody, 
with everybody. It's like, oh, so whoever has the other half of this knows that someone's touched this, and uh, yeah. All right, so you're, you're, you're getting a sense of being of being pulled in a direction, and you think they're getting a sense of being pulled towards you. Mm-hmm. And soon, it'll become the final countdown. It's the final countdown. <laughs> Chris, give me a six sense danger sense roll. I don't want to. Mm. <laughs> I don't believe in that skill. Can I get a mm. negative? I don't believe in it. Sure. Ah, damn it. I think I made it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't. Sweet. Everything's fine. So, that's the storage room. That skill does right. kind of ruin the fun sometimes. Hmm. All right, so the hole. All right, you go back to the hallway. And, ooh, I have a picture of that. That's rather nice. I hope you guys enjoyed these pictures. Uh, near the white, blank-faced guy. Now, the always got two doors off of it. Uh, one little... The, sorry, is this the hallway with the windows at the end of it we're looking at? Not sure if I won't get the right picture. Yes. Uh, the black, mostly black hallway, a few empty doors, window, shiny at the end. Yep. All right. Yep. Sorry. We'll be back here. No, no. But your choice is either some weird room or it looks like a file room. First Why don't we do a weird room first? Because I said that file room is going to take forever. Yes. Fair enough. The weird room looks like it reminds you of, actually, it reminds at least two of you of something. Let me find it. Ah, here we are. The picture is next to the guy in pink trying to drink the beer. I just remind me of demons. Well, I, I, it actually reminds Alex of much more than that because that's where his people came from. Okay, uh, yeah, demon books. Hmm. Still demons. Mm. Right, Go demons. Cryogenic <coughs> pods. All right, so guys, do, are these are these the cry? Are these the Night City versions, or are these the ultra high tech version that Zog was in? Don't ask me. Doc, you've seen both. Yeah. Actually, these are neither. Although they look like that kind of stuff, creepily so, these are actually sensory deprivation, deprivation tanks. tanks. Mm -hmm. uh, but like water. it all ties into that other shit, and it's chilling. Because they've come up here. They've come up with uh, Alex before when he calls them demon storage. And you found Zog in one, and you've seen them at different levels. This is like the crudest level, and then the one that you got, uh, that Alex got uh, saved a bunch of people out of, that's like the cyberpunk level, and the one you got Zog out of is like the futuristic level. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Can we do a bit of a uh, recap here? You guys got Zog out of one of these? <laughs> no, no. No, I didn't mention anything about Zog being in one of these. I just mentioned that. No, he wasn't Zog in one of these. Seen... It was much more futuristic, and it was yeah. in that future prison where the robot was. And he gave me this. Oh, I don't have my putter on me. Sorry. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you lost your lightsaber, unfortunately. <laughs> the letters in this room. Oh, and there's also. Uh, um, a nurse and a orderly here. They're we're doing something. You're not even sure what they turn to look at you guys when you come in. The letters are Alpha, Delta, Echo, Echo, Golf, India, 
November, Romeo. Repeat, Alpha, Delta, Echo, Echo, Golf, India, November, Romeo. I'll be, I'll be right back. Hmm. Love the reoccurring themes that we're getting in these. <laughs> I love the recurring themes we're getting in these. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. This has a kind of um, X Men um, uh, apocalypse type feel to it. Oh. Which you probably don't even know anything about. You, mm -hmm. But it's, it's quite cool like that. It's like, because he's got this hibernation chamber that he kind of sleeps in throughout the ages so you have you see him even though it's like starts back in egypt it's still very te high tech even back then but as it then progresses throughout the years as he hibernates through the years and time travel they see him in different states like it goes to the future where it's much more modern but it's still very technical it's yeah it's kind of like that hmm. it's very very cool how it sinks in and you don't even realize that yeah, excellent So that appears to be all that's in this room. Will we gain the seeks? We gain her. Uh, all right, so we've got the file room now. Yep. New picture, left hand side. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a farm room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The letters that you eventually find scrawled on the underside of one of the shelves are Alpha, Lima, Lima. Alpha, Lima, Lima. Mm -hmm. As in oh. all. Yeah. Maybe. It could be lol. Or lol. Mm -hmm. I was thinking if it was an O, then I think it'd be lol. But yes, that would be funny. Also, in this room, in addition to the files, let me uncover two more pictures because it's kind of strange. Yeah, uh, these are on the upper uh, right. There's a can of black paint next to uh, a giant upside down squared off U drawn in chalk on a brick wall. As in like a door frame. I didn't say that. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it a, a I the fact it's also you. got a door handle <laughs> paint drawn there in chalk. You could just be misseeing it. <laughs> <laughs> Checking at looking at the actual files just to see if there's anything. Ah, yes, interest. there is. Uh, you review the files. I don't need any special skill rolls or whatever. The, it seems that most of the time, uh, the doctor prescribes an enema and a straitjacket. Also, the latest date on any of the paperwork is the year 1959. Okay. Other than that, it's just that. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. 
I'm double checking to see if you think you've encountered everything here or not yet. I'm thinking you haven't because I know that you haven't. Yeah, I'm not sure if we have because I don't. The words don't quite seem to make sense. Perfect. Um, also, <clears throat> I'm working out that the one in the reception room. But the yes. E E N P R S T. There's a couple that could be depending on the context. Okay. So, so besides present, what else were you thinking? Um, you could also be like um, spent or um, serpent. Like not so yeah, serpent. Oh, yeah, yeah, serpent. Yeah, true. Logan definitely missed something here. Looking for it. Did you say present? Yeah, present. Yeah. As in something in something present, or a present. We also can be parents. Oh. Yep. Um, give per, uh, actually, yeah. I'm going to give everybody a card. There's two more patient rooms upstairs, apparently. No, no, it can't, it can't be parents. No. Is, is parents double no. E got E's in it, or is it with an A? No. There's two more patient rooms upstairs, is there? Yes. Which, as in which area? Uh, Mordor. Okay, so there was 11 rooms, was it? Yes. Yeah, now parents is PAR, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, it's going to be repents. Repents! Repents. Do you think he's going to be repenting for anything? I'm just going to put it as presence to it, like, as in, like the present, because I think that's more likely. Unless he, it, unless he needs to regain his um, serpent with one eye. <laughs> his one-eyed one serpent. That's right, he's one-eyed right, serpent. If lost that, then we, we can understand why he's... <laughs> angry. All right, so, so we, need to, we need to tell Chris <laughs> to back that it's something to do with a one-eyed serpent. Yeah, 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 that's So not. Well, we just say, we, so far we've got, in, the, in there there's serpent, there's eye, and there's one. <laughs> See if you can work it out for yourself. That'd be so yeah. fucked up. That whole thing comes out to be a dick joke in the end. You're like, thanks, Logan. It's that bastard Mr. Happy from Burlington. From <laughs> we, we are actually in the halfway in. Mm. Oh, yeah. I got so much shit ready for you guys. All right. So. Actually, I'm going to take a quick leak while we're waiting on Chris. Cause... Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What game are you playing at the moment, Matty? Well, uh, I'm still playing Warframe with my brother and his mate. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, we always float back to that. But um, I've actually... I go through fits and starts with a particular game, um, EVE Online. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been years since I've played EVE Online. I know. Uh, and you know what? I, I play it, and then I don't, like, really get into... I I've never kind of got into any of the, like, 
big or even any really major corporations or anything, uh, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. I think where the game kind of really opens up. So a lot of yeah, times yeah. I'll sit down on mine and I'll, I'll happily do that and get ISK for like a couple of months or so and leave all of it. And then something yeah, yeah. will, I'll, I'll, I'll catch something like online, like um, when they do their the EVE tournaments and I start yeah, watching yeah, it yeah. on YouTube and I, I get so hooked again because the potential for the game is huge. It, it's such a massive game, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so much to do. Um, I do really want to get into it, but I'm a bit worried because I think it's maybe too much of a time sink. Yeah, um, yeah. Do you, have you got an app on your phone or on a tablet or something so that you can, so when your skills tick over, you can... You know, there was one called Dust, you used to work off the AI people to generate, but um, they don't do that anymore. So oh, don't they? To a, uh, yeah, they've changed it to an uh, ESI code. That's, that You can now do it with an ESI code, but I don't think anyone's done a new app that works with oh, okay. that. So okay. I've got I've got an app on my phone where I've, I've got all my information um, that I can bring up, but you can't, you've still got to go on the game now to change it. It's a bit annoying because it, it was cool for a while. Like you said, Dusk, you could open it up and you'd be like, start training this skill. <laughs> but I've got to a point now where most of the skills I'm training are like like a month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so it's, really it's not too bad. I just I throw yeah, it on yeah, there, yeah. and you you can get where before when when I first played it, it takes so long. It, you can only have a certain amount of like weeks training. You can actually back them up quite long now. You can have like you can plan like six or seven weeks worth of training or something stupid, and then just leave it going. Mm. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I might just get through another month and be like, I'm bored of mining. I'm turning it off now. Um, yeah, that, I think that was the main thing I found with Eve Online. Just the mining grind. I just found it was a bit too much. It's um, it's trouble is it's got it's got such a, a nasty learning curve when it comes to PvP because it's like you know if you just go out and just kill anybody, you'll get flagged and get hunted down. So you've yeah, that's got right. Kind of but most alliances won't touch you unless you've got PvP experience. So you're like, okay, how do I get that? So, you know, yes. they do have alliances now, like red versus blue, where they've got two alliances that are constantly at war with each other. And the whole idea is you just join them and then you're going to be able to fly with one of them. And you, you, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, PvP, yeah. but for the fun of it. But I, I don't know. For now, I'm just like, I wouldn't mind trying. I think I'm going to try and get into the industry side of it this time around. Oh, yeah. And then ho hopefully the combat will just come. If I get really rich, then maybe an alliance would just be like, we don't care you haven't got any PvP experience. Come to us, because you make lots of money. And I'll be like, okay. Well, have, you checked out, have you checked out groups like TOG, for example? Who? TOG? I don't think I've heard of them. Uh, the older gamers. It's um, a right, right, group right. for gamers 25 and over, so you basically join the older gamers, and I think they've got an EVE Online clan, oh, and they? you just join up. Oh, okay. I'll have to check them out. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been a member of TOG for, I don't know, 12 years, 13 years now. Oh, cool. Ma! Oh, check them out. They, they, they play lots of games. So yeah, if, I, if I get on MMO or something, that and the chances are they've got a guild going on it, so it's yeah, an easy I, way to get I in. On with their Facebook. I think I'm connected to their Facebook or something. Oh, yeah. I've got some connection to them, but... <laughs> yeah. I did not know they had an E1 line. Um, well, they used to. I they used to. I haven't looked recently, so maybe they don't anymore. But yeah. they definitely used to have some hardcore E1 line players there, and a and a court going or a guild, whatever you want to call it. Cool. All right. Um. So, Doc, we've felt an urging to go back up to the Hall of Many Doors, where we discovered there were two more rooms. Okay. And also, we um, realized from the last um, the cryptic clue that we believe there's something to do with uh, the one eye seeking the serpent. So, I yeah. think we might be looking for a uh, one eyed serpent. Yeah, there's something about him wanting to regain. Well, it talks about regain and stuff, and I. So. Yeah, we're not too sure what this serpent is about with the one eye. And the serpent. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Come on, Chris. We wanted you to say we're looking for a wallet and stuff. <laughs> Oh. We know I've lost enough weight. I fight it every day now. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> so you guys head back upstairs in room 10. Yes. Hold on a second. That was well worth it. So. <laughs> yeah, when we, we were working, we looked at one of the combinations, Chris, we realized could spell that could be three or four different words. It could be like yeah. present, it could be serpent, it could be repents. And then we thought, hang on a minute, there's I, there's serpent. <laughs> one Is Logan one doing dick jokes again? <laughs> again? When did he stop? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> True, true. No problem. You guys head over to room 10 and you look in the thing and you think that there's black cloth, but it's like uh, out of reach of your hand and it's just hanging, free hanging, but you can't tell a lot about it from the slot in the door. What about from the food slot? It definitely it's it goes all the way all the way up all the way down and okay. fills the Why short don't you hallway into the room. Trusty pole there. Yep. <laughs> all right. Shows it shows Holmes on his hands and knees, looking through the food slot and poking it. And yeah, it, it's definitely a cloth. Um, it, it you don't you're not getting a lot of meaningful poking on it here, but uh, it appears to be a normal cloth as opposed to some. Soul swallowing thing. All right. Yeah, I think something's going wrong with my roll twenty. Yeah, one. I've dropped. I've, I'm the only. I'm the only one in the room at the moment. Oh, Holy shit! The patient system has been interrupted. Oh, is it yeah. showing me in the room? Oh, oh you're hang on a minute. You've just come back. The re. I, I see two of you. I don't see yeah. You. Now, Chris, Chris, uh, he's having such a bad time with Roll Twenty, it won't even let him repopulate because he <laughs> starts. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. I know he's had a bad enough day. I, oh, there he goes, Chris. I'd suggest you write an angry email to the Roll Twenty people and say, "Why is your fucking system a by ass? I rolled all these ninety nines. Why?" They'll be like any, uh, images up there still. No, I I moved you to a new fresh page oh, thing because uh, you might be going and seeing new shit. All right. Well, yeah. guess we open the door. It, it looks like a black curtain of some sort. It's very black and very curtainy, uh, thick. Okay. Hold it. I'll, I will use the pole to push it aside. No problem. It looks like there's a short wooden uh, brown, stained brown, which is different than the white walls of the hospital hallway that's maybe, I don't know, three, four meters. And then, uh, i.e., longer than your pole. And then another black curtain. Three, four meters. Yeah. Long wooden Pretty hallway. Bigger than the size of the room, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give me a sandy roll as you realize that for space time distortion. Uh, Unless you've got it maxed out. Wait, do I have it maxed out? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I like to talk to myself, Logan, so you just slow your roll there. Ah. Oh, yeah, it's maxed out. Hooray. I don't think mine is yet. Uh, time space distortion no unfortunately this is a zero if you uh uh make it and uh d4 if you fail you it that shit out. yay <laughs> wow this is the most damaging fucking sand run you've ever had in your life 
It is. It's it is is amazing. And it's getting ready to get worse as you guys head down there. And do you want to open the next one? It's significantly darker between the two black and drapes. Things. Yes. You hear music, by the way. Ooh, what what kind sort of, of music? Uh, big band. Hmm. So open the next drape. Yep. Right. Showing pictures. These are some of the pictures of what is going on there. There's even a flag in case you're confused as to where you're at. Oh, There's no. men and women in uniforms of some sort. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> and you guys are definitely Hmm? I just got kicked out of roll 20. Ah, of course you did. Uh, uh, let's see. The I'm also, there's a picture of two, uh, of a guy. Um, ah, you're back. Uh, he is the, uh, the MC, the announcer. Bandmaster. That's it, bandmaster. Thank you. Uh, what, is he making an announcement right now? No, he's conducting the band. Oh, so he, he makes announcements as well? Yes. I'm wondering if it's going to be the same voice that comes over the tally. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, tonight we're having pickled feet for lunch. Ah! <laughs> pickled feet. <laughs> um, right. The It looks like a large dance hall. This place is about the size of an Olympic ice rink. Uh, it's got a highly polished wooden floor, and there's a high dome ceilings with masses of spotlights that change color as they revolve. You notice that all the external, well, presumably external windows, seem to have heavy black curtains up. There's also uh, various other heavy black curtains, presumably covering different doors. There's also plush settees. If you don't know what a settee is, it's a short, uncomfortable couch along the walls, along with a scattering of tables and chairs. Uh, on one end is the um, hanging out area. The other end is the stage. And the, give me uh, dance rules to know what kind of dances these are. Otherwise, you go, they're moving their feet rhythmically. Mm. <laughs> uh, More rules are coming, don't worry. Uh, Matt, you should have a good idea where you're at. Uh, well, with, by the flag, I'm guessing I know where it is. I don't know if you've ever seen that flag before, but <laughs> very well. Uh, I'm guessing this is like uh, England wartime. Yes, take all a card, black, Matthew. Yeah, all the blackout curtains. Yes, take a card uh, for knowing the appropriate name of the curtains, Pete. Chris, yeah, say so something smart to get a card. Where's my no. dance, 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 dance? <laughs> So, dance. Matt, did, did Chris, did you make your dance? Yeah. Uh, they're doing the uh, oh, they're doing the waltz and the foxtrot. These are dances that if you don't know what you're doing, they can result in some injury, but nothing like the tango della morte. Uh -huh. um, there's various uniformed people, both young and old. Uh, some are couples. Some are obviously single and empathy roles. Lonely. Ready to mingle? Ready to shag. Quit. Uh, you guys are thinking, ready to mingle? Ready to shag? And Pete's like, ready to find a lifelong mate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the master of ceremonies is like, um, welcome to uh, Jubilee Hall. The lead singer is... Uh, so and so, and I am the master of ceremonies, Mr. Jack Hughes. And they have a full orchestra. Um, they're also, uh, he announces that soon they're going to be having the dance competition. Uh, the prize is a uh, chest of drawers. Ooh, yeah, it's a kind of nice one. Uh, give me, a, well, let's see, you guys are probably already know about what year it is. And and the voices are English, aren't they? They're not American. 
uh, English accent. The guy who was master of ceremony sounds nothing like the uh, guy who was on the PA. I look for a particularly good female dancer. I don't care if she's got part of it. Sure. No problem. You you do the scanning around. Give me a luck roll, Matt. Lower is better. Uh, I got it by Nation City. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you find a uh, uh, cute lady who looks like uh, she could definitely uh, cut a rug. You, uh, me, we're winning this. Let's go, babe. Woo, she says, as you sweep her off her feet and go. Right. Um, okay, you're going to be doing the dance off. Right, let's do with that real quick. You're going to need to make it at least by negative 30, but if you make it by negative 30, she needs to make it by negative 32 is a problem. Which gives her. <laughs> oh, damn it. You're going to kill, kill the poor one. Yeah, you may have. Uh, and, okay, now she we needs did, a. We did the thing we've done a four <laughs> ten. It went completely wrong. Uh, now she needs to make a crit to compensate for you. Or, or ne uh, actually, a negative 60. No, you made a fumble, didn't you? <laughs> she needs a fucking crit just to survive this. Let's see how she does. Failure. <laughs> she needs four or less, four or less after her negatives. No, no, she would, she would have wanted. She, she thought she was gonna fucking win that goddamn dresser, and you dance like you were on fucking crack, okay? and you. She's all fucking. Uh, you think you sprained her ankle and shit? She's laying there crying and stuff. The nice people come take her away, and you're still dancing like ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a good time. <laughs> you, you know, Are, Alex, that this sort of place over there is where you can get the beers, etc. Sorry, Sagan. It's a dance hall for service men and women. There'll be. What do you think they normally serve them? Alcohol. Yeah, I'm surprised you're out there dancing. Oh, that's okay. I got used to this. I need to go get some more alcohol. I think you've had enough. Says so some guy trying to show how big it's drunk. He hasn't had enough. What? Give me a fat top roll. <laughs> yes. Great. Him and Alex are off drinking now. Um, let's see, and other stuff going on. I know what he's doing. Uh, I, I'm looking, I'm walking around looking to see if there's any letters or anything. There, you find there are uh, letters. What do you mean, letters? Oh, those yeah, are letters. No, yes, there aren't, but there are, there are uh, Australian uh, uh, servicemen here and there. Mm -hmm. And everybody thinks that you're a serviceman, and they, you keep getting asked, "Where's your uniform?" And you know, "Why are you dressed like that?" And that's a good point. Oh no, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that'd be such a fucked up scene in a movie. Come on, baby, why are you so serious? And you Oh my god, that is just fucking horrible. Yeah. Uh, right, uh, uh, people, uh, uh, Doc Fulton, uh, people are like, oh, are you a yank and stuff like that? Yes, yes, I am. Thank you so much for coming and helping out here. I mean, 41 is going to be a rough year, but by god. Hands overseas. They all have English accents, by the way. But, I yeah. continue just looking about as they're talking. Uh, women keep coming up and asking you to dance. No, thank you. Insistently. <laughs> no, thank you. One even brings you a cup of tea and asks you to dance. <laughs> no, thank you. Tea. All right. No problem. Um, Right, uh, Pete, you're getting asked dance too. It, it seems that uh, this dance hall is the quote Tinder of its day. Sure, why not? Excellent. Uh, are you going to go? In comp she wants to go in competition. She needs a new dress. Yeah, right, then. Excellent. Go for it at half. If you just yeah. make it, then you dance. But you, I will. Uh, she is not play, up. To it. <laughs> I'll play a skill fifteen. I was gonna say she is not up to it. Even you got more in two left feet. Yeah, you did. That's all right. Why not? Alex, magic purple 
one of the better <laughs> fucking dancers here, so. <laughs> That's what happened. Why so serious? Uh, <laughs> nah. All right. No problem. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys dance like shit, but some some nice uh, uh, excited lady uh, and guy win the uh, dresser, and they're gonna use that to start their new life until it gets bombed as shit in scene twenty six. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so I'm just bomb food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but yeah there's, there's all kinds of different people and such in I don't, here i don't suppose anywhere as we're like walking around and dancing and all that we see some kind of maybe weird looking set of letters that don't make any sense like they, no know, but like, they they have a cigarette girl that comes by she's like got the thing around her neck with the box and selling cigarettes and shit. The box. No, no, just cigarette nonsense. Yeah. You don't have any tobacco in pipes? Uh, yes, she does, actually. Uh, she she says, uh, that'll be uh, three shillings, please. Yeah, that's... A <laughs> <laughs> she shows, shows him checking his tightly clenched buttocks to see what I'm I managed to do. This is the king of Australia. <laughs> yeah, fast talk roll in half. He's dressed in something that says orderly. She just, <laughs> and I've got a oh, scope around my neck. She just glares at you guys and moves on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, yeah. you begin to hear air raid sirens uh, starting to go off. Uh, some people are rushing out through some of the exits, but the band plays bravely on. Logan, I swear, if you say there's a small boy with a fucking gas mask on saying, Mommy! Mommy! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it shows a kid, like, who's starting to pull out a gas mask, he just looks around slow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coming. <laughs> uh, you okay. guys uh, continue Shall doing... We... That. Exit, shall we exit back the way we came? I guess. <laughs> yeah, you, let's you, go. you guys leave. It's like, yeah, see ya. A lot of people are leaving through different doors. You guys seem to oddly be the only ones going through that door. You leave out that door, and that is the end of room 10. That is quite a weird one. Uh huh. However, right before I step through, I want to turn around and just get a good look at everything to see if anything is just out of place at that point. Negative. It is not, but yeah, you, you do the snapshot in your head. Okay. You and then you. Right. <laughs> okay. No problem. It turns out room 11 is even odder. Uh, when you look through the uh, 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 little portal thing, you're still carrying around your two meter pole, aren't you? I forgot about that with the yes. whole dancing thing. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> in, in I, this I could room, have leant it against a wall when I was right, right. gone and retrieved it. That's that's good. Otherwise, it shows you holding it up. She's and, and, unlike her. unlike the, the nurse with the weird clown makeup on. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wish I'd remembered that before. The it's like, Yay! she says, and he just drags her out, does the throwing her around and ran. It's like, I'm dancing, baby! Um, cha 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 In this room, when you look through it, it, it seems to be like a uh, uh, a stage and it uh, with an audience. And all the audience are those white-faced people and they all look back at you, and you notice that there's. Um, uh, it looks as though there's there's some uh, instruments set up on the stage, and there's a conductor who looks at you, and he does the tapping of his wrist. Oh, Are goody. we talking oh, string so. quartet instruments or? I uh, right. Alex Kinley bursts, opens up the door, and runs toward the stage. I love musicals. Dibs on the violin. <laughs> there is the following instruments there. There is a harpsichord, a violin, and an oboe. 